everyone, it's Maria now with the Strip View Live Success Talk Show, and I'm here with Paul McGuire. Thank you so much for being here, Paul. Now, you help people find their passion and get paid on it, right? Right. I work with mostly doctors, but people in other businesses as well, and I help them to develop themselves to build their business and create whatever they're passionate about. For a lot of people, they may have a passion for singing, dancing, artistry, uh, and how to make money in that, whether it's leveraging on, on the internet or whether it's creating a business out of something they love. And for a lot of us, we have hobbies we love. Um, some people love to fly, like me. Some people love to uh, dance, sing, travel, whatever it is. And if you can make a business out of that, you know, take people on tours around your country. So you are from what country? America or? Well, I was born in Saigon. Okay, Saigon. So maybe you, for example, let's say that you love to travel. Yeah. And so we could create a whole business for you to travel back to Saigon, see your family and all that, and turn your passion of traveling to Southeast Asia into a business. And how could you do that? And how could you get people to pay to go there and some different ways to do that? And that's sort of how you do We make a creative, take a creative ideas and put them together to create a business well, for making money. What I know is, for me, especially in speaking with so many people today, um, passion is a huge part of what they're doing. They love what they do, and I love what I do. So I just feel so privileged and honored to, to be able to be a talk show host. For people out there who are looking for their passion, they may be kind of scared or fearful to come out and say, you know what, I really like to do this and I want to do this, but I don't know if I could get paid. How do you coach those people to really find their passion? I think it starts with a library card. My godmother was a librarian and I was 11 years old and I used to go into the library to get out of class at the parochial school I grew up in. And uh, something happened very interesting as I got curious. And I got curious about learning and got interested. And because I started reading, I found my passion through reading and learning. And today you don't even need to read. You can, you can be around people like some of the people you've interviewed today who are successful. And I think the most important thing about your passion is that thing that moves you. The thing that moves me is seeing another human being come to understanding with, through education or through enlightenment or through seeing like they actually get it. Whether it's taking a child and who's struggling with biology and actually showing them what the word biology means. Yeah like study of life, oh, I got it, now I got it. <laughs> or that mathematics is a language that you can communicate in numbers and any of those things to me are what for me creates passion for me is to like help somebody to come, to come from within that understanding of what is it that makes you excited, that would get you out of bed in the morning, that makes you like you, you could just do it forever and you would never have to be paid for it. And I think the common thread that I've seen among all the successful people I've been around, I've been around a lot of them, study a lot of them, is that helping another human being is why we're here. It's the greatest thing ever. And some of the passions within that are communicating with other human beings. It's caring for other human beings and nursing or doctoring or, or helping somebody mentally or spiritually. Those are the things that people tend to be the most passionate about because I think at the end of the day, we're all here to help each other along. And when you do that, you tend to be happier. You tend to be more successful. And if you apply business to it, you tend to be wealthier as well. Uh, well said. Now, what I like about what your business does, because it, it is a business that not only are you helping people find their passion, but you're helping them be profitable at it. And there's the old adage where people do feel that if they love something so much that they, they should do it for free or, you know, why should they get paid for it? So how do you bridge that for them when they're saying this is more than a hobby, this is something that I want to turn into my life, my career? Right. So this is a concept called exchange. And uh, everybody's time has value. You know, nobody knows what our expiration date's going to be, but there's only so much time that you have in your life. And you have a skill set, I have a skill set, and we spend a lot of time to develop and learn that skill set. So the, the marketplace has value to that skill set. Where I might have studied 22 years, to be able to come up to what I just said about passion and communication and been to many seminars and spent hundreds of thousands of dollars to learn that, that has some value. And so if I could say to you, hey, you could put a letter in an envelope and mail it to somebody and they'll send you a check back and you think, well, that's a pretty simple concept. But the fact that I would know how to do that and could show you how to do that has some value. And if I could tell you a thing, something in an hour that makes you $100,000 a year, mm -hmm. which I could, 
probably in about 15 minutes, you're like, well, wait a minute. There's so people have to have exchange. There has to be fair value. And people don't usually value what's free. They value what they work for, what they earn. And, uh, and that's why, in my opinion, welfare never works because there's no exchange. And it's good to help give people a hand up but not a hand out.